Hey everyone, are you wondering what telehealth or telerehabilitation is as it relates to physical therapy? But more importantly, if it's effective and right for you, well, let's take some time to go over that. First, it's important to know that physical therapy is physical therapy, no matter where or how you receive it. And telehealth is just a unique delivery model for these physical therapy services that leverages the innovative power of technology and the internet. So instead of having to get yourself to and from a brick and mortar location for an in-person PT session, now with telehealth, as long as you have a strong internet connection and then a computer, laptop, phone, or tablet with camera capabilities, you can now live video conference one-on-one -on -one with your physical therapist from the ease, comfort, convenience, and privacy of your own home or office. There's actually many benefits to telehealth and I've listed them below. So let's take a moment to go over each of those in a little more detail. Number one, Telehealth is focused, efficient, and private. Let's face it, many people get overwhelmed with the hustle and bustle of an in-person clinic, but luckily with telehealth, it's always one-on-one -on -one and done privately from your own home or office. So with fewer distractions and disruptions, that means you and your therapist can often get to the root cause of your problem more quickly. And that means faster answers, results, and solutions for whatever your specific movement issue might be. Number two, telehealth is practical, applicable, and functional. Why? Because it's performed from your own home office or workspace. So when we're evaluating, educating, exercising, or suggesting adaptive strategies, it's for your real, your real world scenario where you actually live, work, and play. We're not guessing or simulating, and that makes it so much more useful for you. Number three, it's a huge time saver because you virtually eliminate all time lost to commuting and the factors that can add on to that, like accidents, traffic, bad weather, or wasting time looking for parking. Time is precious, and now you get those minutes back to choose where you use them, whether that's with family, friends, for work, or recreationally. Number four, telehealth helps to minimize stress. Why? Because you don't have to do as much reorganizing through your entire day. For example, at work, moving schedules around or staying late to get in a therapy session or at home, setting up childcare, elder care, or even micromanaging your schedule with that of your family's school, social, recreational, extracurricular, or sports calendars. And that means less headaches and stress for everyone. Number five, telehealth helps to conserve resources. You, the client, don't have to waste as much money in gas, tolls, parking, or paying for a ride share or even child care or elder care. And on the flip side, your therapist doesn't have the same overhead because they're not having to maintain a brick and mortar structure. So that's actually a win-win for everybody. Number six, telehealth allows better continuity of care in times of crisis. Let's face it, you're in physical therapy because you have some type of movement problem and goals that you want to achieve. If you cancel or come inconsistently, that means you can regress and it doesn't help you to achieve your goals any faster. Now, even if there's bad weather, some type of natural disaster, a healthcare scare or pandemic, as long as there's still electricity, you can safely and consistently attend your physical therapy visits from home, keeping your healing on track and making sure you're staying on task to achieve your movement goals. Number seven, telehealth is fluid and flexible. Let's face it, most people are busy in today's day and age. And in the typical in-person model of going two, three times a week for 45 to 60 minutes or more, that can be tough. So busy people often come late, leave early, or cancel altogether because their schedules are just too crazy. But with telehealth, because there's time savings and efficiency involved, our busy people can still easily get in at least a partial session with a skilled clinician or they can add in a session last minute if their schedule opens up. 
And this can be done during business hours, but also early morning, evenings, and on weekends, which means greater convenience and compliance. So all of our clients, even the busy ones, get better faster. And lastly, number eight, telehealth breaks down the barriers to entry for skilled physical therapy care. With telehealth, instead of only being able to treat or see people that are live near or around our community, we can now share our expert skilled care with anybody within the state that we are licensed. So for those in rural areas or looking for a specialist, or for those who have attended a neighborhood clinic with just subpar or okay service, now nobody has to settle or inconvenience themselves because expert care is available to all. And that means physical therapists can serve the needs of a much bigger community of people. Like anything, telehealth isn't right or appropriate for everybody. For example, those with multiple or complex medical conditions, those who might be a fall risk, or clients with some fairly significant soft tissue restrictions, then you're likely gonna still need the in-person, hands-on guidance, supervision, or skilled manual care of an in-person setting. However, more and more people are demanding ease, convenience, and flexibility, and telehealth checks off all of these boxes and it provides another physical therapy solution, helping to meet a wider community of people in need. Telehealth is here and it's just going to keep on growing in ease, use, and availability. So I really hope you have a better understanding of what it is, but more importantly, the benefits and the uses that it can provide you for your movement and your physical therapy needs.